Hey there, CJMS students. Welcome to homework R.6, Decimals Review. It's practice homework. You shouldn't be using a calculator. Uh, and uh, it's going to say answer each of the following using your reference sheet and showing all work. So each question really has three questions, but uh, in all there's really kind of only five questions. So we can do this very simply. Uh, so it says gasoline prices are given to the nearest thousands of a dollar. Last week, Mr. Uh, Henriquez uh, purchased gasoline for three dollars forty nine nine, right? So almost three fifty per gallon. Since then, it has increased by nine cents per gallon. What is the price of gasoline after the increase? So notice how they give you that extra nine. Gasoline companies are one of the few companies that will do that, and then uh, it's going to be an increase of nine cents. So uh, we can say, uh, Mr. H purchased gas for. $3.499 and the uh, gas went up or gas increased we could say by nine cents right what do we want to find out we want to find out uh, what's the new price right what's the new price of gas of gas okay so we have answered those uh, completely and fully. We've stated all the information we know. Uh, we stated what we exactly want to find out. Now we're actually going to solve it. So if we're just increasing a price, um, we're adding, right? So uh, we got two numbers that we're going to add. Remember what we did this afternoon where we put both decimals down first, then we filled in the numbers. So we got the three here, four, nine, nine, um, and then the zero here, zero, nine, right there. So we're adding those two empty spaces as we know get the zero, right? So let's go ahead and add up nine plus nothing is nine. Uh, nine plus nine is 18, so carry your one. Um, one plus four plus nothing is five. Make sure you drop down your decimal exactly where it is, and then three plus nothing is three. So the new price of gas is $3.58, almost 59 cents, but that, uh, that extra nine is important, all right? Uh, so, so the second word problem, four through six, I'm going to ask you to kind of uh, do yourself. I will draw a picture that might help you on six. Uh, so we're talking about this uh, classroom that Miss Pratt has. And if this is her room, and the entire room has an area of 235.675, but then this is her little closet right here. We'll shade that in. Uh, the closet um, has an area of 10.45 square feet, right? What is the area of Miss Pratt's room not including the supply closet? So we want the area of the room without that closet. So cutting that closet out, hopefully you understand, oh, I'm gonna be subtracting, right? So again, if I were you, I'd put a decimal here, a decimal here, um, and then I would fill in and understand that you're subtracting, right? I'm not gonna give you the answer. Also need to make sure you finish four and five and write the answer on the line there. All right. Uh, next one, seven through eight. It says brand A chili beans cost two thirty nine a can. Brand B chili beans cost one ninety three a can. Which costs more? Ten cans of brand A, twelve cans of brand B. What is the difference? So what do we know? We know brand A. Uh, that's two dollars thirty nine cents can. Brand B. That's a dollar ninety three a can. Right. Um, what do we want to find out? What costs more? Right? And it's not just does brand A or brand B cost more. We want to find out what costs more if I buy 10 cans of A and 12 cans of B, right? And also, very important, what is the difference? So this question is really asking two questions. So which costs more, and then what's the difference? So for brand A, we know it's 239 times 10, right? And for brand B, we know it's 193 times 12, because we're buying 12 cans of brand B. So we do the math on here. A uh, little trick, if you've got a zero to start, instead of doing zero, 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 you could just lay your egg. And then you can move on to the next number. So 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. Remember, you got two decimals. So make sure you swoop twice, right? 
once, twice, so this costs $23.90. Brand B, a little bit trickier. Uh, two times three is six. Two times nine is 18. Carrier one, two times one plus one, that's three. Lay your egg. One times three, three. One times nine, nine. One times one, one. Add it up. Eight plus three is 11, so carry it. Um, this should give you um, 13, carry another one there, that's two. Um, and so we've got uh, two decimals. So once, twice, so we got 2316. So what costs more? Brand A definitely costs more, but then how, by how much? So now you gotta figure out, okay, what's A minus B, right? So again, we're doing two decimals, so decimal, decimal on top. And you're going to say 23.90 minus 23.16, right? And we're going to do the subtraction. We've got to do a little borrowing here, right here. Like that, an 8. That's 10. Uh, and we got 4. we got 7. And then everything else is 0. So it's the full answer, because there's two questions, was brand A um, by 74 cents, right? Brand A is more expensive, and the difference between the two is 74 cents more. All right, great. Go on to the back side. I'm going to let you do Mr. Kramer's problem there. Uh, make sure you do 10, 11, and 12. Um, I would suggest first adding up the pieces that he's got um, because he's got 2.2, 2.82, and 4.25 pieces of pipe there. So if I were you, I'd add up the pieces of uh, pipe, and that's going to give you the total amount of pipe that he wants to cut off. And then you're going to want to find now subtract from 10, right? Because um, to see what's left over, to see what's left over, right? And I would do that subtraction maybe over there, right? So you want to find a total and then do 10 minus whatever that total was to get your answer, right? Um, and then the next one, uh, footballs uh, sell at uh, Sports RS for $27.99 and at uh, Fitness for $21.59. If a coach buys a dozen footballs, how much can he save by buying them at fitness, right? So there's two ways you could go about doing this. Uh, actually, the way I had kind of set up for you is a long way, right? I was going to have you multiply um, 27.99 times 12 to see how much that was, and then I was going to have you multiply 21.59 times 12 to see how much that was, and then I was going to have you subtract the two. Why not? Let's just do something a little bit easier. Let's just do 2799 minus 2159. And that's zero, that's four, and that's six. So we got 640 is the difference just for one football. So now what if I was buying, sorry, that's a dollar sign. Uh, what if I was buying um, 12 footballs? Well, I just do 640 times 12, right? To see how much I'm gonna save. So that's zero. That's 8, that's 24, lay your egg, that's 0, that's 4, that's 6. So I'm going to save 8, 8, 8, and you've got uh, two decimal places here, once, twice. I'm going to save $88.80. Uh, Apologies, sorry, I'm off on my math here. Mr. Mason always making mistakes. Um, this should be 2 times. Uh, 6, that's 12. There we go. Um, so that's then 6, and that's $76.88, and 88 cents, or in 80 cents is how much money you could save by buying them at Fitness Depot. So um, much shorter cut than that. Make sure you fill out 13, 14, and then justify your answer of the savings as well. All right, that's it. Call me if you have questions.